Welcome to another video about strategy. And this video is about one of your personal assignments, which is the individual SWOT analysis. So this uh, assignment is for five points and it is a two to three minutes of presentation. So you will be presenting in the class. Um, and you have to submit the PowerPoint before uh, around five o'clock. So try to submit it before five o'clock on the class and look at the schedule to see what the due date is. Okay. And there is no paper, it's only uh, PowerPoint. So this one is, um, I don't know if you know, like Temple of Delphi, on top of that it says, uh, man know thyself. Well, you know, it applies to women also. So, you know, person know thyself. So what that means is you have to understand who you are. If you understand who you are, and uh, I've mentioned this also earlier is, like Sun Tzu also said, is if you, Sun Tzu was, uh, you know, a uh, general in the Chinese army, and this was hundreds of years ago, and he said, if you just know yourself, you have won half the battles. And if you know yourself and the enemy, then you can win all the battles. So this is what it is. So SW in the SWOT analysis, S and W is about you and O and T is about the external environment, whatever is outside of you. So SW is strengths and weaknesses, O and T are opportunities and threats. Okay. So this is, think of this as you're doing an honest evaluation of who you are. Uh, and based on that, you look at what is available and what it is that uh, you feel, you know, is, is good for you and something that you can do. Okay. Um, so try to be as honest as you can. Nobody's judging you. Uh, but the more honest you are, the more likely that you would be able to get help from me as well as since you're presenting. Uh, some of those, your classmates also could relate to that and may be able to, uh, you know, also help you. Like uh, sometimes it, because of these assignments, uh, there are some students who have also gotten a job, like they're saying, okay, they have such and such experience and somebody says, oh, my company is looking for somebody with such and such experience. So, you know, try to be honest. Uh, and, uh, you know, so, so this is something that can help. So this is the structure is the first slide is introduce introduction who you are and some fun facts about you. Um, so I'll, I'll start off with myself. Fun fact about me, uh, my dad wanted me to be an engineer. Uh, my mom wanted me to be a doctor. And guess what? <laughs> I wanted to run away and become a magician. <laughs> Uh, well, I do. I, I did all of those. Like I'm a computer engineer and I'm, I did a PhD. So that's kind of like a doctor. And anybody that comes from the Asian culture, you know that, you know, there's uh, parents push the kids to, you know, a little bit too hard, which is good in a way, you know, that, that helps them become more, um, you know, uh, capable. Uh, if you push yourself, then you're more likely to uh, be better in life. And sometimes some kids don't take pressure. And that's, uh, you know, that, that could end up to be a bad thing too. But anyway, let's just focus on this. Um, so the third thing is the magician part. Uh, I can do magic tricks and I can do some other cool things as well. Uh, well. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, so introduction is you introduce who you are. By the way, um, there is a one video under additional videos which says you are contagious, okay? So the energy that you bring into the transaction, that's how people are going to perceive you. If you're like, you know, dull and down and you're like, you don't want to be there. That's how, that's the impression that you're giving other people. If you yourself are not excited, people won't be excited about you. If you go into something, uh, eh, why should I do this? Uh, I mean, Guess what? You are projecting that to other people and other people are going to look at you that way. So forget about that and bring up some good energy. And so if you're talking about something, even bring up something interesting, like something interesting that happened or something interesting you saw 
So introduction, you could put up a picture of you as a Superman, Wonder Woman, whatever it is, something fun about you. Or maybe you can play piano with your feet, who, you know, whatever it is. You know, you put people in a good mood. When you put people in good mood, that's how they look at your uh, presentation. Okay? So use that introduction as a way to put people in good mood. Uh, and just like a good movie, you can, you know, try to bring it, you know, take it up and down. Like when you're talking about your strengths, you talk about good things and you're like, you know, talk about your weakness, you kind of bring it down too. Uh, okay, so, so try to, even though I understand it might be a little challenging, but it's only two to three minutes, you know, try to do it. Um, I mean, keep it within two to three minutes, all right? No less than three minutes, but no more than, no, sorry, no less than two minutes, but no, Minimum is two minutes, sorry. <laughs> maximum is three minutes. Okay, minimum two minutes, maximum three minutes. All right, so in the SWAT, try to come up with at least three bullet points. Okay, And you don't have to go on and on about all of these bullet points. Just make sure you list them in the PowerPoint, but you could just talk about one or two of those. So each of these, S-W-O-T, each of these, you're gonna come up with three, uh, you know, strengths and weaknesses and try to come up with something that could be unique, uh, something generic, something unique, uh, that's a good combination because if you just talk about generic, then you're not opening yourself, okay? So try to open yourself up, but not too much, you know, don't don't talk about like you got DUIs or something like that. Don't, you know, talk about something that is relevant to the job. Now, based on, so you did the SWAT, based on your SWAT, what is your goal in life? Talk about short-term, mid-term, and long-term. Short-term could be you want to pass this class and you want to graduate. Uh, mid-term could be, you know, one to three, three years, like, you know, you want to get a job or you want to get a promotion. Long-term is, you know, what is, you know, what do you see yourself in the future? Like, you know, what do you want to be? You want to be a CEO, you want to start your own company, and how do you plan on achieving it? And then end your presentation with a strong conclusion, similar to introduction. If you start off with something good, something funny, something interesting, and also on a high, because that's how people will remember you. Most times introduction, people are happy. People you know, like uh, whatever you're presenting. If it's good, you put them in a good mood. Sort of in the middle, they kind of drift off. But at the end, you can bring them back and you talk about uh, you know something good, something interesting. Okay? And finally, how many points do you expect? Um, this is a way for you to kind of go through the checklist and see if you really did what you're supposed to do. And also try to include pictures, facts, figures to support whatever you're saying. So if you want to be like you know you say in terms of opportunity, if you say that you know there is tons of opportunity in cybersecurity, let's just say say that. So you kind of include a graph to support that. Like, okay, look, you know, there are X number of like 100,000 openings, but there are only 20,000 people that have those skills, okay? So don't, don't do too much, just one or two, you know, facts, figure to support. Um, so that's it for this assignment and just want to tell you the do's and don'ts, okay? Most of the people try to wing it and that's where they have problems with the two to three minute part. So what happens is they've never practiced. So on the first one or two slides, they're spending like two minutes and then they have to rush through the other slides. Don't do that. Practice, practice, practice. Even like the superstars, you know, people that NBA players or, you know, uh, whatever, basketball, football, all these players, they actually practice all the time. The Olympic gold medalists, all these awesome people, they have to constantly practice. They don't, don't roll out of the bed and start doing things. Um, and if you watch uh, Seinfeld, one of the things he mentioned was the number one uh, problem or number one fear people have is uh, public speaking. Uh, this is slightly better. You're doing it over Zoom, so you, you're not as uh, much exposed as you might think, but still people are afraid of that. And we are actually afraid of the things that we are not uh, familiar with, okay? So what the Seinfeld joke was, the number one fear is public speaking, which is above death. So what he was saying is the person would rather be dead, meaning lying in the coffin, than give the eulogy. <laughs> Again, that's a joke, but... Uh, uh, so 
the best way to get over any problem is to actually confront it, to face it, to practice it, and that's how you can get over it. So the number one thing is make sure you practice so you can, uh, you can be sure that your presentation is minimum of two minutes and maximum of three minutes. So stay within that range. Anything below or anything above, your points may be deducted. All right. Um, so the other thing that you want to do is make sure you make eye contact. Okay. Uh, don't look here and there. And it does, it shouldn't look like you're reading from the slide. It should, should look like you're talking about something you're excited about. Okay. Uh, so recap two to three minutes. Don't read from the slides, put some emotions into it because you're contagious. If there is feeling in your presentation, people will feel that. All right. Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you in other videos. All right. Bye.